Amen. Grace is nothing else but Jesus the Christ. You cannot take grace and take it away as another word apart from Jesus. Then it's not grace anymore. Because God's grace unto me and you is only Jesus, nothing else. You cannot receive grace. The word grace is not available from any other source in the universe but Jesus the Christ. Amen. Now the Bible says, if you understand your need of mercy, now be strong in the grace. Never be strong in yourself, please. Never be strong in your flesh. Never even be strong in your own faith, please. But be strong in the grace that is in Jesus, and that will develop in true faith, which is a rest in the Lord, knowing that your God will never fail you. And in that, you can, be, you can rest secure. Pray, Lord Jesus, I trust you. My Father, I trust you. You will never leave me. You will never forsake me. You will never take your spirit from me. You will never depart from me. Grant me the grace Never to walk in pride. In Jesus' name. Because that's the one thing that will separate you from God is pride. Because God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. And pride is the one sin that we cannot see. It is, it is, it is the sin It comes like a ghost. You cannot see him. But the people around you can see the fruit. And you're always the last one to see it. You need grace there. Amen. Pray, Lord God of heaven. I pray for grace. This grace. That you protect me from pride. And that I will be granted the grace to see pride in my own life. In Jesus' name. Now you pray that tonight, God will grant that to you. Amen. Say to God, you it's the one sin that comes like a ghost. You cannot see him. But the people around you see the fruit. They cannot see the pride, but see the fruit. But it's the one sin. It's nature is of such that you yourself cannot even see the fruit of pride. You need to be shown, so you need grace. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Pray again, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. Your mercies are new every morning. Your mercies triumph over judgment. I deserve judgment, but you provided a lamb like you did for Abraham that paid the price for my sins. Your mercies, Lord, triumph over judgment. Your mercies endure forever and will never be taken away from me. In Jesus' name. Give you Lord a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. You can only enter these mansions in humility. Amen. In humility, first of all, and to walk in humility, you need to walk in God's grace. Be strong in the grace that is in Jesus. And to receive grace, you need to understand your need for mercy every day. Amen? Amen. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. 
that where I am, there, there you may be also. Now my question is tonight, are you where the Lord Jesus is? Now Jesus promised that he will not leave you alone, but he will send his Holy Spirit. Say thank you Lord for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third one, the third person of God that come to the earth after Jesus has done his work. To come and finish the work. Give God a hand. To come and finish and to fulfill the words of Jesus and complete the words of Jesus. So God is with us. God is not far. The Bible says it's not far that we should call him up. It's not far that we should call him down. It's in our hearts. It's in our mouths. By the Holy Spirit. Can you see the Holy Spirit? No, you cannot see him. But you can see his fruit. You can experience his presence. When he heal you, when he deliver people, when he provide for you, when he remind you of the words of Jesus, when he teach you God's word. The Holy Spirit, Jesus said about the Holy Spirit, he will be your teacher. Who else will teach you? Tonight you think this is Miss Man teaching you? No. It is the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that teaches you. It's maybe using a man that you can see. But it's the Holy Spirit. Give God a hand for his Holy Spirit. <laughs>